Hey guys, welcome to this free anaesthetic tutorial on the Humphrey ADE breathing system. Today we will cover an introduction to the system. We will list the basic components and then draw a schematic to get an understanding how the system functions. We will explain the mechanism of action. We will discuss the advantages and disadvantages of the system. We will summarise and do some true-false questions at the end. Hope that sounds interesting. Introduction. The Humphrey ADE system was created by Dr. David Humphrey and gained acceptance in human anaesthesia in around 1982. It won the prestigious Shell Design Award in 1985 for excellence in engineering design. It is a versatile breathing system that combines the key advantages of the Mapleson ADE systems. Don't worry if you haven't heard of these. We plan to cover these soon. It is efficient for both spontaneous ventilation and controlled ventilation. And when we say efficient, we are talking about how low we can set our fresh gas flows without the concern that the patient may be exposed to rebreathing gases and potential hypoxic mixtures. The system can be used for adults, children, and is a very common breathing system used in veterinary anaesthesia, but is used for both small and larger animals. Components. The Humphrey ADE system contains two lengths of 15 mm smooth bore tubing connected proximally to the Humphrey block and distally via a Y connector to the patient. One length of the tubing delivers fresh gas flow whilst the other carries away exhaled gases. The Humphrey block consists of an adjustable pressure limiting or APL valve, a reservoir bag, a lever which is used to select either spontaneous ventilation mode or controlled ventilation mode. We will discuss this further in a moment. A port to connect to a ventilator. It is also capable of incorporating a sodium lime canister if required. Schematic and mechanism of action. With the lever in the up position, the reservoir bag and APL valve are connected in the same configuration as a Mapleson A circuit and the patient is able to breathe spontaneously. Fresh gas passes through the fresh gas port and is delivered to the patient via the inspiratory limb. During its passage, some of the fresh gas flow will fill the reservoir bag and this can be used by the anaesthetist to supply additional breaths and also acts as a crude indicator of the patient's respiratory rate and tidal volume. The reservoir bag is a very nifty piece of kit. Due to Laplace's law, as the radius of the bag increases, the pressure reduces. This means that the bag is another safety method to reduce the risk of excessive transpulmonary pressures being delivered to the patient and another way to reduce the risk of barotrauma. On expiration, the expired gas travels through the expiratory tubing. Scavenging can be connected to the expiratory port, which reduces volatile waste to the atmosphere, meaning less exposure to members of staff in the theatre complex and less pollution. During spontaneous ventilation, the fresh gas flow required in adults is about 50 to 60 mils per kilogram per minute. And for kids, less than 25 kilograms, it's about 3 litres per minute. This is a pretty efficient system. With the lever in the down position, the ventilator is included in the system and the reservoir bag and the APL valve are isolated from the system. It now resembles a Mapleson E system. The fresh gas flow is still supplied by the inspiratory tubing and expired gases are removed via the expiratory tubing. In this lever position, the system maintains the benefit of efficiency. The fresh gas flow required is around 70 mils per kilogram per min in adults and remains 3 litres per min in children. Whilst veterinary anaesthesia is sadly beyond my expertise as a human anaesthetic doctor, I am reliably informed that it is possible to use a modified Humphrey ADE system that will allow the veterinary anaesthetist to use a fresh gas flow of 300 to 500 mils per minute for both small and larger animals. If you are a vet and disagree with this statement, please do let me know as it would be really interesting to get your perspective on the Humphrey system because we don't really get to use it that much in humans and it appears to be mainly a historical ventilator that is more popular in exams than in anaesthetic rooms in our hospitals in the UK. Advantages. The system allows the use of efficient fresh gas flows. It can be used in spontaneous and controlled ventilation. It can be used in adults and children as well as small and larger animals in veterinary anaesthesia. Disadvantages. It appears to be more of a historical ventilator in UK human practice. It is heavy. It is arguably complex to use and requires training 
and the presence of an expiratory valve is a potential disadvantage in paediatrics as this may increase the resistance in the circuit, it may increase the work of breathing and there is also potential for the valve to malfunction. Summary. The Humphrey ADE system is a unique breathing system. It is efficient for spontaneous and controlled ventilation in adults. It can be used in paediatrics and appears to have a regular role in veterinary anaesthesia where its versatility allows its use on small and larger animals alike. It is fair game to be asked about this system during the FRCA via the component as well as in the MCQ exam. True or false? The fresh gas flow with the lever down in adults is 70 mils per kilogram per minute. The fresh gas flow with the lever up in children is 50 to 60 mils per kilogram per minute. The system is more efficient than the Mapleson A system in controlled ventilation. It is generally preferred to use the system for spontaneous rather than controlled ventilation. The reservoir bag, via the principle of the Bayer Lambert law, reduces the risk of barotrauma to the patient. Thanks for listening, guys. Hope you enjoyed this.